I have presented in this meeting about the role of proton and the availability of it in many institutions and the reason why we have to be uh, excited but yet very careful about the use of proton. Obviously the background is over the past decades we have made many advances in the uh, technical aspects of how we deliver radiation therapy to patients with lymphoma. The main key in these advances was to avoid uh, critical organs around the target volume that we're trying to uh, uh, encompass. These advances have included uh, the employment of intensity modulated radiation therapy, deep inspiration breath hold, uh, software solutions for the use of IMRT and VMAT. And we have made major advances in a sense that now we can target the volume of interest without spraying neither a low dose or a high dose to the critical organs around. Now, it is a very exciting technology to add proton to the mix. And my talk was about how to use proton in a way not to increase on these toxicities. And the main reason being the physical properties of proton are completely different than photon. I have presented many examples showing how in the computer planning of both proton and photon, to the unexperienced eyes, it would look like as if proton might be better. But then when you look into the details of how proton works, but specifically how proton is density dependent, and it depends on the linear energy transfer rather than in photon, uh, where the RBE is one, uh, proton, the RBE could reach up to four according to some uh, mouse models. So therefore, we have to be careful about the display of the dose on the computer. I also presented how proton might be uh, interesting in certain situations or anatomic locations, but sometimes a uh, photon would play a better role uh, depending on the location of the target, specifically in relation to the heart, which has been a concern for many researchers these days. I think that uh, the conclusion of my talk was whenever we use proton, we have to be aware of the physical properties and limitations as compared to photon. But also, if we think that proton is the solutions to all the anatomic challenges that we face, we're going to be disappointed. On the other hand, we have to make the best use of the advances that we've made in the photon world, including special solutions for IMRT, the use of tumor motion management, specifically the deep inspiration breath hold.